All right, chat, we got some new packages. This is the Bamboo Lab 3D printer, specifically the A1 combo. And you already know we bought filament along with it. These are too heavy. Packages. Now, let's not waste any more time and get straight into the unboxing. Apparently, this specific model of 3D printer has won many awards for being good. So we're going to see if it truly lives up to its expectation. This should be the filament. All right, let's do some ASMR. <laughs> Sorry, that is not how you properly open up a box. Nice, nice. Now the top. Let's open up the box. More boxes? Okay, so this is interesting. So we have separate boxes with each of the filaments inside. Let's open them. I accidentally kind of opened this one, so let's just start with this one. Whoa. Whoa. We have the red filament. This looks amazing. Then after, I proceeded to open up all the other boxes that contained all the different kinds of filaments. White, blue, and black. Now, if you guys wanted to get a close-up of the filament, here's the black one, here's the blue one, the white one, and if you want to go fancy, we got the red one. And by the way, if you guys don't know what the combo means on this box, then it actually means that this 3D printer came with an accessory to print multiple colors at the same time. It's really handy, but it does cost more than the original 3D printer itself. But you save more money buying it as a combo. Now, we got the big boy. As I was trying to open the box, I realized that it was decently hard to open. Oh shoot, I've had it flipped the wrong way the whole time. Uh, uh. Sorry if the audio is a little worse, my microphone's died, so yeah. Come on! Let's see. Oh. It's just a huge bag surrounding the actual device. Let's find a way to take this out. Oh! Oh my gosh, we have the actual 3D printing plate. Dude, no way. Oh yeah. Mmm, -hmm, yummy. Oh yeah, take it out, baby. Look at this, oh, look at this beauty right here. Of course, we have the main printer itself. We have some practice filaments, I believe. And then we have some other parts, which I don't know. Keep in mind, this is my first time getting a real 3D printer. So I'm sorry if I don't know a lot of stuff. These are the instructions. Let's open it up. Stickers, free stuff, got some papers. And finally, the instructions. Let me try to read the instructions to understand what's going on. Okay, after reading it for a bit, instructions seem pretty straightforward and it doesn't seem that hard to build. It was the big day. Me and my dad were gonna build and install the 3D printer to finally start printing things on it. It's cool how this box provided kits too. For the assembly process, we use a video tutorial and our manual to help us. The instructional video actually helped us go a lot faster, especially because the manual was lacking some instructions apparently. Overall, the process was very satisfying and fun to do. I literally felt like an engineer just putting this thing together. Now for this portion, this is where the normal filament roll is supposed to go. But since we got the combo version, then that one isn't necessary. Apparently, one of the lids came off, which is weird. Throughout this whole assembly, we've had to tie in so many screws, so they do not come pre-installed. Then we moved the 3D printer to its location, and I was trying to connect the tubes where the filaments go through. And after, I had to connect the black tube with the other ones. Of course, we had to connect the filament roll device to the 3D printer. And you already know I had to plug the 3D printer in. The setup honestly looks amazing, other than the old table. I had to adjust the screen and turn it on. I was super excited to see how this thing worked. So first, we had to choose the language, then our region apparently, and then we had to connect to the Wi-Fi. Once everything was done, we were ready for the calibration procedure, or that's what we thought. The calibration is so the machine gets used to the functions and movement, but we forgot to put the printing plate on. Tell me this doesn't sound like an engine. Let's finally unbox the filaments. Get that. Yummy. <laughs> Then we were connecting the rolls of filament to the machine. It was really interesting because I had to insert the filament and I clicked the button and it just pulled it in. I did take a while to do it on my first attempt, but the more I did it, the better I got at it. As I finished up, this was looking extraordinary. When I was done, it was finally time to test if this thing could actually print something. You can just go to print more stuff. They have a good amount of options. And even then you can add more stuff. Speedboat. Next. It automatically checks the filament that you have loaded up. Apparently, the 3D printer was preparing. 
And then I got started with the print. 3D printer was going at extremely fast speeds. Holy cow, chat. This is one of the coolest things I've ever seen. Man, I am really not used to this new technology, huh? Just like that, in 10 minutes, it's almost already done. Look at these sick angles. You can't tell me this doesn't look cool. Now, for the moment of truth, did it actually work? Oh my gosh, guys, the printing just got completed and this is how it looks like. It looks amazing. The quality on this printer is unbelievable. Just look and admire the detail. It even got the ridges. I was very pleased with this 3D printer and I will definitely continue to use it more often. But overall, this is an amazing product. For the price, it's actually not bad at all. I highly recommend it if you're starting a 3D printing journey. But you do have to be careful because the printing table can get pretty hot. Especially this nozzle here. Tells you how hot they are, 85 Celsius and 52 Celsius. That's nothing compared to how hot they can actually get. Now, I'm usually not that picky with products. I'm gonna have to give this a five out of five stars. I mean, it, it's just amazing. Sure, it had its complications. There's some things in the instructions where it was a little bit confusing since it wasn't actually on the manual. We had to look at an informative video that helped us build it, which the building time actually took about like an hour or two. So it takes a while, but we have no experience. If you have experience, then you'll probably build it a lot faster. Overall, it's very easy to navigate and the software is pretty well and it even has a camera when you're printing you can literally view it on the camera although it's not the best quality but you know i mean camera is a camera right i hope you guys enjoyed watching this video and make sure to like subscribe and see you guys in the next long one.